admit it, jobs can be stressful, even if you love what you do. Working in long hours recklessly, however, give rise to the problems that occur in most of us today. A research by the US National Institute of Health suggests that workers working long hours recklessly had a higher chance of experiencing occupational health problems. You know, it all seems scary when you think about it. However, there are a few things you can do to optimize your working conditions and increase productivity by simply measuring and improving based on numbers. For a start, you can measure the duration of work time itself. Divide all the work components into elements for operation. Check sheets can be used to help you write in duration of each element. Include all working activities in the check sheet, including delay and material handling. The next step is to list all the problems you experience during work time. This is done to give you a feel of what you're trying to improve. So include all factors, be it external, even human factors. Then. Analyze those problems using one of the tools of improvement, such as fishbone diagrams, flowcharts, Pareto charts, etc. By now, you can really see what you can improve with equipment that supports your work. Improvement often takes time, so add in your key performance indicators or KPIs so you're aware of your progress towards the goal. Here's an example. An operator creating handmade face mask. This is Nia. Hello Nia. Hi. So earlier Nia made us a fabric face mask with a fixed equipment layout and predetermined method or work elements. How long did it take you Nia? Initially, according to my stopwatch, the total work time is around an hour and 10 minutes. However, I encountered some problems during the process such as uh, difficulties in finding equipment because my things were falling out of the workspace and my difficulties in threading the needles and some tangled strings and any other obstacles. Based on Nia's problems, we analyzed it using fishbone diagrams which consist of two main problems, long processing time and physical strain to the body. Let me give you an example. So one of the factors of the effect is people. Long processing time is often caused by lack of skill and experience of the operator. The second tool of improvement we use is the five whys analysis. There are f that can be analyzed using five whys. The first one is that mass making process takes too long. So the root cause is we found that the operator never had experience in sewing. After further analysis and consideration, we decided to give Nia an improvement. So here's the analysis of before and after improvement. Improved side, we added needle holder or container, maintain consistent layout, give Nia good seating, wide workspace, and proper lighting, and finally, sewing machine is used instead of manual sewing. This results in a significant increase in productivity, leaping from 0.5 mask per hour to 1.6 mask per hour. There you go. Nia improved her working conditions. Now you can do it too in doing the job you love. Thank you for watching.